Hi, my name is Tu. In this video, I'll be showing you about the flexibility of NXCAE to create a new function, a new custom function that is not uh, in the default uh, layout, the user interface. For example, if I, would, I have a geometry like this, and I would like to create a hex mesh on this geometry. So I just go ahead and select hex mesh, 3D sweep mesh, this face, the size is 15 and OK. So let's say, for example, I would like to move this mesh uh, with alignment to some of the edges here. So, um, for example, if I want to align this edge to with this edge and this edge to this edge. So by default, all we can do is uh, there are several functions here. For example, translate the elements. This will help to translate these elements. And, uh, but the directions, it only has two options for you. With orientation, uh, this one, uh, you need to specify the x differences, the y distance differences, and the z uh, distance differences. So this allows you to move this mesh in the translational direction only. But if you change to other coordinate system, for example, cylindrical or spherical, you have other options to, um, to use, to input on it. However, these are not um, so direct uh, that we can align this mesh to this geometry. Another option, for example, you, have, you can have this translate uh, this will translate the nodes. Um, the methods are such as by distance. So again, it uses uh, the reference to the coordinate system, whether it's global, Cartesians, and others. Along the directions, along the vectors, point to point, scale model, and by field. So the closest to what we want to do probably is align vector. So we can align, for example, this uh, to um, this vector and select the nodes and click OK. So uh, although this edge is aligned, but others seems to be a mess. So the solution to this is probably we can create a new uh, function. For example, I create, I've created a move element here. So this function, if I show you customize it, actually it's uh, customized by me. So if I show you the actions, what it does, it actually reads on this file transform elements one dot vb. So if I show you the this file. So the file contains the code, the visual basic code, such as this. So this, I'm not going to uh, explain in detail about this code, but I'm just trying to demonstrate on how this code can help to customize and ease our processes. Okay, so let's try again. I'll just undo it. And I'll click on move elements. So this dialog box is also customized. Uh, we can uh, I've make it very simple. It's just I need to select the nodes. So I just make a big drag here. Move from. Okay, I can say I move from this point with the vector as shown. Move to a new location. For example, here, where the x-axis will be pointed to this edge, and the z-axis will be pointed to this edge. So you can imagine the new mesh will be moved to this location. So if I click OK, voila, the job done is done uh, in one single step. So this, dem this video demonstrates how flexible it is, even though the function is not available currently in the default user interface. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you.